Hey everybody, I am going to be altering this paintbrush today. I am part of a group where we are swapping paintbrushes. I am very behind, but I um, am trying to get these done so I can send them off to all of the lovely ladies. I have received some of mine already from uh, the other ladies that are in the group and they are super gorgeous. I think I've posted pictures on Instagram and I will have a link to my Instagram on um, in the description below, but it's always on uh, my YouTube channel art banner thing. I'm a jig. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's always there if you want to check it out. So I am taking some gesso and just adding a coat of gesso to the paintbrush and I am now taking some white crackle paste and I am trying to um, add some um, in thicker, uh, I'm trying to add some thicker in some areas and thinner in others. This way I get a nice variation between the cracks so that some will be smaller, some will be larger and it just creates more interest on the project. And now I'm going to be adding some IOD molds, uh, pieces, some paper clay pieces. And I did a video um, a few days ago or a week ago uh, on the IOD molds. And I will have a link in the upper right hand corner to that video if you want to check it out. I talk about a few different tips and tricks and what what paper clay I like to use and I go over all of the molds that I have and just different things like that so um, be sure to check that out. I am adding some Fabri-Tac now so that I can add some art stones and I find this the most efficient way to do this. I've tried using 3D matte gel, I've tried using um, all kinds of different gels and different ways, but this way, I don't know, I think it's because the Fabri-Tac is tacky, so it holds the, um, uh, the art stones a little bit better than a gel will. And I, th I think it's like a personal preference because I like to work fast and I don't like to have to wait for the gel to, um, to dry so that I can start painting and adding all of my colors. Uh, anyways, so I'm just going to continue to add more embellishments and uh, that was another IOD paper clay mold piece and then I added a little resin frame from Prima and then this little knob here, I'm not exactly sure where I got it but I've had it for quite a while in just a kind of like a like a catch-all bucket for all of my uh, metal pieces and I thought it was going to be perfect for this project. And then I add a little heart from Finnebear. It's a mechanicals and um, I will have all of the supplies listed down below. So if you miss something or if I miss um, saying something, I will try to link everything in the description down below as well as over on my website. For the most part, I always have a coordinating blog post. So you can see more pictures and um, the video will be over there and just different things. So um, anyway, so the that little piece that I added was from the top IOD paper clay mold piece that I added to the top of the, um, the brush and I just kind of broke it off and then I'm I added it to the bottom there and now I'm just adding some cheap, uh, I think it's twine, just around um, just to give the project a little bit more interest and more textures. I like adding tons of different textures. I have a video where I used some wire and wrapped it around, kind of like the same idea here. Uh, I can't remember exactly when I altered that paintbrush, but I will try to find it and I will have a link in the upper right hand corner for that video. So here I am going to be using some Nouveau embellishment mousse from Tonic Studios. I have used these in the past. I just tend to forget that I have them, which is pretty bad because I do love them. I just don't have them on my desk or near me where I can grab. So I always forget that I have them. So what I do is I add a little bit of water and I'm using it kind of like a watercolor in a sense. 
and I have a video over on scrapbook.com's YouTube channel. I will have a link in the upper right hand corner to that video as well. I share uh, five ways to use the embellishment mousse and what I really like about the mousse is that you can use it, like I said, with the water and also when it dries, it's permanent. So it's really neat. You can keep layering different colors and also you can use them in the same way that I have used the Art Alchemy wax in the past. And you guys know that I love the Art Alchemy wax and you can use these in the same sense. You can just take a little paintbrush, kind of dry brush it on, or you can take your finger and brush it on with your finger. So these uh, embellishment mousses are really, really neat. Uh, I'm just gonna continue to add the color and I will be back shortly. Right, so now I'm adding a darker color and like I said I will have all of these supplies listed down below you'd think I'd learn by now to keep uh, things that I need to know the colors for on my desk but I did put them away so I can't recall the exact colors um, but this one is a black well the one before was I believe old like a navy color and then this one's black so I'm just doing the same thing as I did with the lighter blue just adding a little bit of water and brushing it on like I would a watercolor and I'm using darker colors so that I get a lot of depth and interest on this project I don't think the black really ended up making a difference in this because I do cover it up and then I use actually some color bloom sprays from Prima um, but at this point I didn't really know exactly um, how I wanted it to turn out. So I just kind of play around with the colors and um, just see where, you know, my creativity takes me. So I'm just going to continue to add the color and I will be back shortly. Alright, so now I'm using some Dragonfly Blue Color Bloom Spray from Prima. I really wanted a intense blue and I really wasn't getting that from the uh, Nouveau Embellishment Mousse, although I do leave some of the, um, like it's important because I don't want it all to be one color, so I do have that variation with color. And because the Nouveau Mousse um, dries permanently, um, I can add a different color on top and I don't know just kind of layer all those colors 
So now I'm adding some Precious Stone Color Bloom Spray just to add more depth to the project and to help all of the beautiful um, textures and details stand out on all of the embellishments that I added. So I'm just going to continue to add the color and I will be back shortly. Right, so this is basically dry it's pretty much all dry a little bit wet and I do have a little bit of drippage coming down when I kind of put it up a little bit from behind all of the embellishments but I'm adding like this brownish color and I really didn't know exactly where I was going with this but in the end I love how it turned out I'm really honestly just kind of experimenting because I haven't used these uh, embellishment mousses in this way before like on a full project I've used them here and there on different projects but not like I have um, used the art alchemy wax which I typically would use if I was do, you know in a project like this so I'm just kind of playing around and they are a lot different to use than the art alchemy wax because they are um, like you can use them with water so because some of the areas weren't all the way dry it kind of mixed in and just created a whole nother different color it's kind of interesting to kind of play around with them and um, just kind of to see how uh, they worked so um, again I'm just kind of playing around with them and not really knowing exactly how I wanted it to turn out but this goes to show you that I know a lot of people say they're, you know, afraid or they're not sure if they want to start dabbling in mixed media, but I play around a lot and I think the most important thing is just to start and I mean, all that can happen is that you try to cover it up again and start all over again. I've had to do that plenty of times where I end up not liking something and I have to just cover it up with gesso again and start all over. It happens, but um, the most important thing is to just start. You're never going to know if you like something or if you um, enjoy doing something if you don't try. So start off you know, a little bit here and there and work your way to something like this or just dive right in and try something like this. It's honestly, it's really simple and it is so much fun. And I think if you um, just kind of play around, you'll end up loving it. So I am using, I think it's a pearl color, just like I would the Art Alchemy Wax to highlight all of those details on all of the uh, embellishments that I've added to the the paintbrush so it's this one ended up being a little drier than the others but I have added just a little bit of water and kind of mushed it around a little bit and just dry brushing it on all of the um, like the raised details on all of the embellishments and I just continue to add more layers and um, I go back and forth between the color bloom sprays and then the um, the embellishment mousse. I am going to continue to just add the colors and I will be back shortly.
All right, so this next step wasn't really necessary because I do end up adding more color and just kind of, I don't know what I was doing here. I am adding some gesso and just kind of dry brushing on a little bit here and there. I, I guess I was probably trying to highlight more areas, but then I ended up not liking it. So I just go over it again with the pearl color and um, you'll see in just a second. But I wanted to leave this in just to show you guys. Um, I know sometimes with editing and everything, people always say that I make it look so easy. And a lot of times, honestly, I go back and forth between, um, you know, deciding different things and like where embellishments go and like this. I, you know, I don't know what I was doing here. And, um, but again, I'm leaving it in for you guys so that you can see that you can try something and then, you know, if you don't like it, you can, you know, just cover it up again. So you're going to see that here. I'm just adding more of the brown color and then also that pearl color just to hide all of that white that I added. All right, so that is going to complete this project for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, share it on social media, email it to a friend, pin it to Pinterest, whatever your heart desires. Uh, please leave me a comment down below. I really love reading your comments. And be sure to check out my website where you can find more pictures and more details on this project. And again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Bye.